All right, in this video, we're going to do an example related to the law of sines. And all the law of sines does, it relates uh, angles and the sides opposite them by this equation. So little a, little b, little c, those will be the side lengths, uh, a, b, and c. Again, capital A, B, and C are just going to be the angles. So it says we get little a over sine a equals little b over sine b equals little c over sine c. So let's do uh, an example here. Suppose we're given that one angle of a triangle is 120 degrees and another angle is 40 degrees. We know the side opposite the 40 degree angle measures 12 meters. We want to find the side opposite the unknown angle. So I'm just going to make a little picture here. Try to make it somewhat to scale, hopefully. So, um, so here's let's make this our 120 degree angle. This will be our 40 degree angle. The side opposite the 40 degree angle that has length 12. Well, this would be our missing angle uh, in our triangle, and we're simply trying to find the length opposite that. So maybe I'll call that C. All right. Well. We know that the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180. So 120 plus 40 is 160, um, which means the other angle must be simply 20 degrees. Those will now all add up to 180. And now we can just set up our equation. We can do 12 over sine of 40 degrees. That's going to equal C over sine of 20 degrees. And now to solve for C, we'll simply just multiply both sides by sine of 20 degrees. So on the left, we'll be left with 12 times sine of 20 degrees over sine of 40 degrees. That's going to be our value for C. And now it's just a matter of kind of plugging it all into a calculator and simplifying it down here a little bit. So, all right, so let's do uh, sine of 20 degrees. I'm going to round to three decimal places just sort of arbitrarily. So that's 0 0.342. Um, if we do sine of 40 degrees, I'm getting that to be 0 0.643 after rounding. So if we take uh, 0 0.342, and if we multiply that by 12, I'm getting that to be 4.104. Uh, over our 0 0.643. So now if we take uh, 4.104 and simply divide that by 0, .0 whoops, uh, so 4.104 divided by, sorry, I keep punching it in wrong here. So 4.104, we'll divide that by 0 0.643. I'm getting this to be roughly equal to 6.38, and again after rounding, I'm getting 6.383. So uh, just a touch over, uh, well, a little bit over 6 meters is what we're getting. And, you know, certainly that seems reasonable. Um, you know, if the side opposite 40 degrees is 12, certainly the side opposite 20 degrees would have to be, you know, significantly smaller. Um, so certainly that agrees with my intuition. I think you know that's in the ballpark at least. Um, so that's all there is to do. We're just simply setting up a little ratio, uh, solving for our unknown value by using these law of sign, this law of signs.